Hey everybody, Adventures in Idaho here. I just got my PPS 4352 kit uh, from Bowman, Bowman Arms. Uh, it's a parts kit that's exactly like the PPS 43, except it's got the, uh, the wood stock, so it's a 4352. And I just got it, and I'm going to unbox it here. And we're going to take a look at the parts. So uh, this thing it comes from uh, Bowman, Bowman Arms. <laughs> I mean, it's bomber. It's going to take me a while. So let me let me cut this off and uh, get it unboxed and uh, come back. Okay, I got all the parts uh, taken out, unwrapped, and unboxed and everything. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I think this is a 1953. It's definitely been used. That's okay. My plan is to mock this up. I'm just gonna uh, wire all the kind of wire all the parts up and uh, put a few pieces of wire on here to hold all the parts together, and uh, just make it a wall hanger for right now. Someday, maybe I'll weld it up, weld the parts together, and do a real nice job. But for right now, I'm just gonna um, mock mock the pieces up. Um, uh, Another thing is, I researched this parts kit and uh, sales, uh, BobBowman.com or whatever it is, Bowman, uh, his parts kit for the uh, 52 came with this full on barrel shroud. Some of the parts kits come with, uh, you know, three magazines and the pouch, cleaning rod and everything, and uh, they're a lot, they're, they're cheaper, but this one has got the barrel shroud. Some of the parts kits don't even have this, this barrel shroud on there. It's not even existent. Some of the parts kits have the barrel shroud, uh, but then they don't have uh, this uh, upper part of, uh, you know, upper part here. This, this is not there or something. So, so I would recommend that you research your parts kit, you know, before you buy one. So right now I'm going to go grind out all this Swag that's everywhere, so everything fits good, and uh, and I'll uh, start mocking it up. Okay, I got to do a little bit of grinding on this. Uh, all the uh, burrs and stuff, and all the little things from the torch cut are keeping it from from working and actually going together. So, got to do a little bit of grinding on these parts here and. Yeah, that'll make everything work a little better. Those burrs were keeping it from going together, so. Okay, I've got all these parts smoothed out right here where they've been torch cut. Uh, that way they'll all fit on here, go over the bolt, you know, instead of the burrs on there and everything. Uh, the front sight, I was able to knock the barrel out, the piece of barrel that was in there, and that was good. So my next challenge here will to be to get out this torch, torch cut barrel uh, by trying to knock this pin out. So that's my next thing. I really want this barrel out of here and then I can start putting the uh, mock up together. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I've got the uh, 52 wired up here and hanging on the wall. It's a, a wall hanger and that's about it, but uh, I had fun doing it. It took about a day to get all that stuff done and uh, that was kind of fun. It'll just be hanging up there on the wall for a while. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.